wells. Now, when it says display the faces well log, we can open well log upscaling from the property modeling ribbon. Let us upscale faces well log for all of the wells. We can use the petrol search tool to find our newly upscales property. Simply type in the name of the object and virtual will find all objects that contain that name in the project. Since we are seeking our faces property will select faces as from the models pane. This will highlight the object in the project. Displaying this in the 3D window allows us to quality. Check our property. Alternatively, we can quality check it in a well section window. Now, let us display our upscale faces along with the well log. We can use the toolbar to adjust the horizontal scale of the wells facing. Similarly, the toolbar can be used in the 3D window. From here, we can display the grid lines. Or set the wells to map view. We can now start a simple data analysis from the property modeling ribbon. If we unlock the dialog for all zones, we can fit to the probability curve to the histogram. Let us smooth as a couple of times and then click OK in preparation for faces modeling. Now open the faces modeling dialog box. And unlock the settings for all zones. We will create fluvial channels using the object modeling stochastic algorithm. We will start by setting the layout of the channels. And we will use our data analysis for the vertical probability. Once the property is created, it can be visualized in the window, right? Clicking on the object brings up its menu where we can display the objects, legend and proportion, histogram. Right, clicking on the object also brings up its mini toolbar, where the property player can be found. The visual filters tool can also be opened from the home ribbon. Well, we can see what is displayed. And if there are any filters being used, they will show up in bold. We can then use the shortcut to the property filters. Let us filter to faces and display. Only the channels and the levies. Now, we can use a property player to scroll through the layers. We can also jump to a specific K layer. We can reset the filters with just one. Click from the visual filters tool. Well, now create a horizontal trend surface. Start by opening the polygon editing tool palette from the property modeling ribbon. We'll create a new polygon from the callout. And we can use the acoustic impedance property as a guide for our horizontal trend. Visualize the polygon points. And at the end of each polyline set, close the polygon by right clicking and selecting close polygon from the mini toolbar. Now, we can start a new polyline from the polygon editing callout. We'll perform the same operation. To quickly hide the acoustic impedance property we can write. Click on the object and select hide object from its menu. This allows us to more easily see our polygon set.
Now we can set the Z values of each polyline. So let us select the first polyline. Right click. And set the Z value from the mini toolbar. When we have done this for both polylines, we can create a new trend surface using the polygon as input. So let us open make surface from the ribbon. Since the polygon object is already active, we can drop it in immediately. Now, we'll set up the make surface dialog box as we please. And we'll set to the maximum and minimum values to be 0 and 1 since this is a probability surface. Once the surface is visualized, we can right click and auto scale the color legend. Now, we have a trend surface that we can use for horizontal probability for our fashion. Faces property. Let us display the property to compare. Notice that the faces modeling dialog box remains open so we can simply drop in our new horizontal trend and rerun the property. Now right click on the property and play through the K layers to inspect the changes.